What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, can we get some news for it, please? Today, you guys, I want to talk about transparency and what I feel that Bandai Namco as a company can do going forward. So, uh, this comes from me sitting here. You know, I, I can't tell them how to do their business. I can't tell them how to run their company and things like that. But it's... You know, in the gaming industry, whenever you're looking on one hand and you see, like, I'm going I'm to use Bungie um, as an example, how they do with Destiny. You can go to Bungie website. They do a weekly update every Thursday and they lay out for the entire season. Now, some things are redacted, like they're not going to show you everything, but they will show you the gist of what their game plan is for that year. Um I think that that gaming companies can take away from that. Like they can take a page out of that book. But what I'm seeing right now from Bandai Namco and this, I'm not taking shots. You know, you know, if we could praise a company for making great products, if we could praise a company, then we can also tell a company where they need to improve at. I feel that what's hurting Bandai Namco, in my opinion, as far as is from what I see from like Kakarot. I'm just using this game for 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 reference. There is no transparency. Like I was thinking, wow, you know, they made an announcement that we will or that it was said that we will learn about the time machine in March. And I think they even put it on their website, whatever. Like if you know that something is going to be released this month, why not tell us a date? Because obviously, you know, a date like it, it's a business. You And if you don't know a date, then that's a problem. You know, go ahead and give the people details. Let us know what your plans are for the year. Now, I understand people are going to say, well, DM, they did. They told us we'll have season one. I mean, episode one, episode two, and a new arc. But what you're not telling us is how much content is associated with that. You know, because if you look at the game right now at episodes, episodes aren't very long. Episodes can be played in a matter of minutes. And if that's what we're getting, then the DLC is not worth it. It's not worth a little less than half the price of the game. You know, that's being realistic. You know, what is these episodes in telling? What are your plans for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot going forward? And I guess this is more or less an interview in a, in a sense. You know, if I could sit down and talk with the producers and, and stuff like that, like I'm asking them these questions. What are your plans for Dragon Ball Kakarot? going forward yes you have the season pass but what are these episodes are they how do they compare to other episodes in dragon ball z kakarot you know the new saga what is it super based i mean here's the thing what do you have to lose in telling people what do you have to lose you're the only company that makes dragon ball games you have a monopoly on the anime gaming industry who is your competition you see what i'm saying like is it if anything it would get people more hype to for them to know what's coming. Like if you said the new arc is going to be Dragon Ball Super Base and we plan to take the game to the Tournament of Power, that's going to get people stoked for this game, for the DLC. You know, if you tell people the episode, yeah, it's an episode, but it's going to be more like the length of a saga. That's going to get people excited because they're like, oh, my God, we finna get a whole nother saga. That's another four hours of gameplay. Not to mention, guys, there's going to be some extra stuff uh, coming along with it and stuff like that. Like, that is going to get people fired up for the content. Like, you see what I'm saying? What do you have to lose? People have already purchased the game. A lot of us already have the season pass. So, you know, to me, it comes off as, well, they already have the game. They already have the season pass. You know, whatever. We'll just, you know, we'll release the content. We'll release it. They've already paid for it, you know. But there's people who haven't who would like to know what's in it. Even me, myself, I've bought it. If I've, I've paid the money for it, I've made the commitment to this. I feel there should be more information that should be given to us that will that that'll benefit us. You get what I'm saying? I think the, the in the mindset of a good company. OK, let's put our warrior mindset hats on real quick. All right. When you make plans for something. You know, you don't now I, I will say this. You don't want to tell everybody your goals, dreams and ambitions because everybody doesn't have your best interests at heart. But in a situation like a video game where the game is already made, you already have a roadmap. Like to me, that's a different story. 
okay? Company-wise, you know, connecting with your fan base, the people who put money in your pockets, is essential. Like, you have to be able to connect with people, you know? And whenever you have people who are asking so many questions on social media and you're not answering those questions, you're not even replying back to these people. But then somebody that you're close with does a tweet about something random and you reply back to that. That doesn't look good for your company. That doesn't scream that you care about the people who are paying your bills. You know what I'm saying? Like. Guys, you, you have to understand this going forward. And it's the same way for a YouTube channel. It's the same way for anything that you want to do in life. That, you know, if you want something to happen, if you want people to buy into you, you have to first buy into people. You know, I don't think we would have as many subscribers on the channel right now if I wasn't going into the comment section, talking to people and commenting and stuff like that. Now, guys, let's be real. I've fallen off. I haven't been as active in the comments as I used to be. Why? It's not because I don't care. It's not because I'm not thinking about you guys, because I'll at least go and put a like in the heart to let you know I saw your comment. I don't do it because my time, I don't have as much time on my hands. It's very difficult waking up at three o'clock in the morning for a paper route, coming home, doing a video, having to go to another job, working at the school, then getting out of school and having to do coaching and then get home and needing to spend time with your family. You know, it's not as simple right now for me. And I, and I was very open and honest with y'all about that. I told you that I'm busy. You know, I'm, a, I'm a at least like your comment. I'm at least put a heart by it if I see it. You know, to let you know I did see your comment, I may not be able to reply to every single comment, you know. And then just being honest, some comments just don't merit replies. Some people are negative, and if you're super negative, then you're getting the comment deleted. I don't have time for it. And if you ask a question about something that's in the video, I'm going to refer you to the video because some people comment based, they look at the title and they automatically assume they know what the video is about and so they'll make a comment about something and it's like did you watch the video you know go and watch the video check out the video and you'll see it's a little bit different but you know i just really really feel and i think that everybody would appreciate that and agree with me as well that bandai you guys need to be more clear and transparent with your fans about what's going on with this game that we have paid money for as well as the season pass for don't have to tell us every single thing you know but this time machine y'all teased us with the time machine the same week that the game released and then it turns out two three months later that it's coming out and we still don't have a clue about it it makes me wonder if there was another company out there, another publishing company who would make Dragon Ball games, would you be more transparent with your fans? I think so, because competition will make you do things like that. It, you're going to do any and everything to garner that fan base. But when you have a monopoly on the industry, and you're the only one who can make these games and do these types of things. Then you can kind of kick back and do whatever you want with the fat cigar in your mouth. You get what I'm saying? It's that kind of mentality. Electronic Arts EA Sports is the same way with the Madden franchise. That's why it's going down the drain. If you want to learn, look at them. The fan base has fallen off drastically now. There are still people that buy the game. I mean, the game still sells, but those it's, it's the younger generation who doesn't have the mindset to question these types of things that are buying the game. You know what I'm saying? Bandai Namco, you're falling down that same route because you don't relay this information to fans. This is not a multiplayer game. There are people right now who have put the game down, who don't play the game as much, including myself. I don't play it as much. Not that it's not fun. There's just nothing to do right now. You know, there's no you have to you have to keep that excitement up for the game. You have to keep gearing that up for people like, hey, this is coming. You might want to keep playing fresh the game and stuff like that. You know, it's a single player game. People eventually will lose interest, and you got some heavy hitting games coming up. You've got Ghost of Tsushima, you got Cyberpunk 2077, you got uh, Dying Light 2, you got The Last of Us Part 2. Like, there are some major games coming up that people, if you are not careful, they will not be playing your game. They will not be buying future content because they'll be knee deep 
in some AAA titles, like, I don't know. I, you know, there's some things that I don't know, I'm pretty sure, about what they do there. But I'm just saying, as far as everything goes, you need to be more transparent. Like, I wish I could get an interview with you guys and ask you the questions that people want to know. Will there be new costumes in the game? Are y'all ever going to do that? Are you going to fix the aura change in the game? And this is not directed at CyberConnect2. Reason why, guys, is because... They do what Bandai tells them to do. They they work for Bandai. They're partnered with them. It's a collaboration event. You know what I'm saying? And and so you can't say CyberConnect2, can y'all put this in the game? No, all of that needs to be directed to the publisher because it's their choice. All right. So the aura change, that needs to be fixed. Like it's Dragon Ball. You know, that part may be on the developers. I don't know. You know, they're the ones that made the game. I don't understand why the aura is still blue when, you, when you're when you charging your key as a Super Saiyan. And that, that hasn't been explained to us. Like, is it an error? Is it Does it have a meaning in the game? Does it have a purpose? You know, it's just kind of like, it seems like you don't care. And I know you care. You know, it, it, and like I said in the live stream the other night, it, it almost seems like the game was rushed. It was already pushed back. But it seems like it was rushed. Now, don't get me wrong. 40 hours is a lot. I've only played like 50-something hours into this game, and there's nothing else to do right now. We know that was going to come. I've told you guys time and time again, this game's success will be predicated upon not how good the game is, but end game content. What is going to keep people playing this game right now? There is nothing. I mean, there's nothing to do. So in order for me to max out my character, I have to spam training missions and NPCs, I mean, random enemies who don't even give you enough experience for it to be worth it. You know, you're going to spend hours doing these mundane tasks. It's going to make the game boring. It's making the game stale. There needs to be something to give us a drop of water in the desert. You get what I'm saying? And information like that. We shouldn't be getting information from other people. We should be getting it from you, Bandy Namco. We should be getting it from you. And it's like I said, it's not any shot at y'all. It's just... A fan of the game, a fan of the work, a fan of anime, being open and honest. And I wish that you could take this feedback and change something. Like, don't have the mindset that, oh, I'm a company man. I know it all. Like, listen to your fans. Listen to the people who's spending money on your product, who's promoting this stuff, like, for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all of these videos uh, you know, I'm not doing this for Bandai Namco. I'm doing this because I love Dragon Ball. Like, that is my thing. It's just awesome, and It's great to have a game like this, but it's like a blank canvas that's not being filled. It's not being painted on. The, there's, like, writer's block in the essay or something like that. You know, so much potential, and that, that potential means nothing unless it's realized, guys. So... Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, guys. Later on today, I will have the third episode of The Gravity Room. You can follow me on Instagram because I've been posting there. Um, I'm competing for this first form athlete search. Man, guys, y'all don't know how much that would mean to me because y'all know I love fitness. I love working out. Like, that's my thing. And I was looking at their core values and it's like, wow, that's us. That's us in a nutshell, you know. And it's difficult to, like, come out and say, like, hey, I agree with that. That's just like me when you're in the midst of something like that. So let your work speak for you. We're going to continue to grind, guys. I'm going to be honest. Hasn't been the best of mornings. And it's only 6.40 a.m. But you have the power to change your day. Why? Because you have the power to control your thoughts. And if you can control your thoughts, you can control your energies, your vibrations, and your frequencies. So let's get into a positive mindset for the rest of the day, guys. Let's go out and attack it. Win the day, baby. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.